Becky Legero for CoinGeek.com here with Dr. Gupta, who's coming to us from India. Yes, so we're here at the London Blockchain Conference. I'm very happy to see you here. I know that we watch each other on YouTube, and so we're, you know, famous in each other's eyes. So tell me what brings you here to this conference in London. Oh, thank you, madam. Actually, I came here just to learn as what is happening on the blockchain and what is the future of blockchain and especially the new blockchain which is being talked about, the BSV. And let me be very honest, actually I don't regret for my money and time spent here actually. It has been a great learning experience for me and also meeting my friends, making new friends and also going back fully satisfied and loaded with lot of information and useful information which I can use in my own country and in my own company and myself in my business as well as my social endeavor actually. So it has been a great learning. Let me be upfront on that part. That makes me so happy to hear. I love that. And I also hear that you are an expert in IPv6 and the opportunities that this protocol will provide to the many people in India and also opportunities that will open up for IoT worlds. So tell me what's happening in India when it comes to these technologies, especially IPv6. It's very exciting. Tell me what's happening. Oh, great question, madam. Actually, the IPv6, which is also called next generation internet actually and india is a pioneer there actually india have a road map for ipv6 and they also have a sunset close the sunset close means after a particular date each device each network each operator each content provider have to have ipv6 and that sunset close is just approaching and also because of the government initiative regulators facility Station, as well as the industry cooperation, the India is the highest number of IPv6 users. Mm -hmm. In fact, more than half of the IPv6 users of the world are from India. So that is, has happened and IPv6 actually uh, alone cannot do everything. Actually, it is a combination of blockchain, IPv6, AI, and 5G. These four technologies, if can cooperate together and bundle together, and that is what I brought in my panel discussion one hour back. I brought out a concept of not blockchain as a backbone, but blockchain as a communication protocol or communication platform, actually. So in addition to providing transparency, the trust, the security, decentralization. It also have to provide other connected or related services by combining with IPv6 because for peer-to-peer -peer communication, you need each person and each device when we talk of IoT and there are so many devices. 10 billion devices are already connected actually. So if you have to give address, unique address to each device and that is what IPv6 promises and can do it also, then only you can have peer-to-peer -peer communication which is a must for any application of blockchain, especially the decentralization. And today only I brought the new concept in the panel and that is the trust as a service. Because main thing IoT lacks on itself was the security and trust and blockchain actually provides both. But then when they provide it as a service, trust as a service, and then if you combine all the four technologies we are talking, you can actually provide, and that is what I explained, everything as a service, not just trust, not just backbone, or not just uh, security, everything as a service by combining this. And when I was asked to tell some Indian uh, initiative on using this, so I explained to them a concept called DY. Everyone was talking about DeFi, DeFi. But I have created a concept called DY, Decentralized Wi-Fi Network. Mm -hmm. 
and what it happens is in our country actually we have to set up 20 million wi-fi hotspots and they will be mushrooming here and there so through blockchain we can connect all of them and all the stakeholders including service provider vendors users and the app provider and the uh, app um, money uh, company all these can be connected together and with that interoperability can be achieved the roaming open roaming can be achieved and one click subscription and one time subscription or one time kyc or modification uh, this uh, authentication can be done and then the the user can roam around in the country in all the hotspots wherever they are by whom they have been established and that is what i brought a concept of the why and that is hope it should solve a lot of problem of connecting the unconnected people. It will make use of the blockchain, of course, for decentralization purpose and trust purpose. It will make use of IP v6 for peer-to-peer -peer addresses. AI, of course, AI has to be there. But AI alone is not that great, actually. But if AI is used with blockchain, with IP v6, and top of that 5G, which is coming, these four technologies together can help to create a platform, a communication platform or a technology platform to solve any problem any network has, any country has and the world has actually. That is what and I am also talking about a concept of universal blockchain or blockchain as a public good like internet which came about 45 years back there was a protocol called tcp ip and that was only one protocol and it is still valid though its version 6 is coming but protocol is same same way if somehow we all can cooperate together a community and zero in or agree on a single platform for all over the world then it will be very very efficient and it will scale up also it will sustain also like internet is there because ultimately blockchain is also internet it is internet of value but we can create internet of wealth by using all these technologies or to have a common universal blockchain actually it also supports the g20 slogan of this year the g20 india says one world one family, one future, and I have added one blockchain. Yes. So that is what we should strive for. And that is what the, your conference like this, it's a world standard conference which have happened. So they should also uh, communicate this message and they should also bring the consensus, like blockchain is a consensus building technology. But you have to bring the consensus among the stakeholders, among the technology company so that they agree on a common universal blockchain yep. just one blockchain for the world like there is one sun for the world Got so it. there should yep. be one blockchain for the world well, and this is the idea. We have a universal blockchain which has a protocol that is fit, set in stone, is fixed in stone and it's scalable. BSV. Boom. We got it. Oh yes, you are almost That's there. It. Almost there. But then you have to have the cooperation, yes. collaboration and messaging. Yes. You have to actually bring awareness that this is good for everybody. It is win-win for everybody. Yes. So that is the message you have to communicate yep. uh, in your conferences. Well, I love it. Well, we better be seeing you next year, 2024. London Blockchain. Oh, yes, <laughs> I will look forward. I look forward to that. I need an invitation. I need an invitation like this year. And I look forward oh. because I just love it. Oh, I love that you love it. Oh. Yes. Well, thank you so much for joining me. Oh. Thank you so much for coming to see us here in London. And we look forward to seeing you next year. Oh, sure, madam. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you. And thank you guys so thank much you. for watching. It's Becky Legiro for Coyita.com.
Bitcoin mining, Bitcoin wallet, blockchain, stable coins, Metanet, the evolution of money. Everybody is talking about Bitcoin today. But what exactly is it? Learn the basics from experts. Learn what Bitcoin is, how it works, and why it matters. Blockchain 101, your ultimate guide to the fundamentals of blockchain.